We have Jonathan here from uh, Penryn. Tell us more about your team and how do you think they're going to do in this tournament here at St. Peter's? I think they will do reasonably well. We are playing against all of the other Lofeld schools up until this point and it's been quite successful. But the level of competition here in Gauteng with all of the private schools coming here is a lot higher. So we're expecting tough competition. Mm. But I think we'll score well. I think we'll score a decent amount of points. We will be in the final rankings. I don't think we are there yet to be in the top five overall. Mm. But we're getting there. Mm. We're getting there. We need to be exposed to this level of competition. Yes. I was going to say now, obviously with uh, not, not having graded players where you have to play against your graded players, it's, it's open so you have weaker players playing against the stronger players. Do you think that's a good thing for, for these players? Yes, certainly it is. It's, uh, they need to start swimming. So we throw them in, in the deep side every now and then and they mm. need to learn how to swim then. So yes, it certainly is. And they need to know where the level of competition is at so that they can compare themselves in the future. Because I mean, it doesn't help that you are beating everybody in, in Nelspreit and then you think you are the best. Meanwhile, there's a lot of things going on here that you don't know about. Mm. You must, must be exposed to these things. Yes, certainly. And there we have it, Jonathan from Penryn. So uh, let's catch up with some of the action. We are here at the eSports and with me we have Mr. Nell. Mr. Nell here, obviously we covered this last year as well, uh, but this year FIFA obviously is a big one. Tell us more about the FIFA and how the teams have been doing so far. Awesome, so it's a little bit different this year. Um, what we've decided to do is three rounds in general, so the guys play 1v1 and then they move into a 2v2 style, and then do another 2v2 style, enter into a round robin, complete the round robin, we're now into the final stages here. So it's been a wonderful day, more schools than last year, so we're building, 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 slowly it's very very exciting esports on the move here at st peter's so very cool that's awesome in terms of the setup tell us more about the setup we see that uh, you've got the xbox series x there uh, is, is that the preferred unit that you'd use instead of the, the other I one to be honest we did take a little bit of a survey and the boys did want a ps5 but they were all sold out at the time oh, well, <laughs> so we grabbed the xbox but i must say it works really well no difference in terms of compatibility there so yeah very very happy here. and then in terms of remotes are the guys allowed to bring their own remotes or do yeah, you do cool. supply yeah, we have have no issue there but we do have the remotes available so we've got four remotes on, on standby but if anybody wants to bring their own remotes uh, we'll just uh, make sure they're not cheating there so yeah, yeah. <laughs> gotta make sure that uh, they don't have any of those legit. yeah exactly <laughs> um, and then in terms of like paddles at the back of the remotes you're also happy with that sort of stuff yeah sure I mean uh, it's, it's it's a brand new sport and things are changing and we do need to iron out some kinks there with regards to the technology and its use but uh, we're very very happy with the, the last year's performance and then this year's performance as well so Good stuff. Alright, we are here at the Street Art and with me we have our uh, representative of Danfer and your name is? Uh, Claudia Martin. Claudia Martin. Tell us more about uh, what you guys are doing here behind us and uh, how's it looking in terms of time at the moment for, for you guys? Um, so it's a uh, final minute crunch. We're trying to obviously get the surface full. There's never enough time in art. You always feel like you could do more. But I think overall the kids had a really awesome day. Learned to possibly new medium and how to work with it and yeah I think it's just been a lot of fun and everyone here has such an amazing work I would hate to be adjudicated today. Uh, I think we'd also hate to be adjudicators here but in terms of the St. Peter's uh, College Festival uh, how's the vibe being had here? Yes absolutely I mean I think when we got here it was all everyone just went to where they had to and then you just you you were at your point you made it work and you got done what you needed to um, it's always a festival is always going to be crazy busy. So yeah, I think we had a lot of fun and we're grateful to be here and thank you to St. Peter's for hosting us. Right, we are here at the dance studio and with me I have... Miss Halberg from Dower Glen High School. <laughs> right, tell us a little bit more about the dance, what are the kids busy learning? So um, this is a great opportunity for our girls to experience this, to learn from somebody professional and pursue a career. We're trying to open up opportunities for them, looking for a new pathway in life and it's to keep them out of trouble, to look after them and this is a great opportunity that they've given us. And then in terms of uh, what's happening right now in the studio there, do you think uh, it, it's, it's quite a high level of dance that they're learning at the moment? So it is contemporary, so um, they do have, it is very advanced for them, but they seem to be enjoying it. And look, the dance itself is absolutely beautiful. They look like they're doing really, really well. They look like they're enjoying it. And he looks like an excellent instructor. So. <laughs> Um, in terms of the dance, will we, will we be able to see it as the public later on uh, in the festival? No, hopefully we will be able to. I know there is a showcase later on where a few of the groups are going to be able to perform what they've learned today and obviously get certificates and that to see what they've done and how much they've learned. 
All right, let's check some of the dance highlights.